fun one. It is a full face of new makeup products that I just bought. They're not necessarily like new just released items pretty much items that have been on the market for a little bit but i just purchased them and i want to try them out for you guys today i'm so excited to finally do a full face of brand new makeup for you guys because i don't think i've ever done that on my channel before so it's very exciting to me and hopefully you guys enjoy this video as well but if you guys want to see how to get this makeup look then of course keep watching I already used a product before the video even started. It is the Urban K B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Print Priming Spray. And I used this once like months and months ago, but I don't remember how I liked it. And I kind of was looking for like a primer spray like the Smashbox Primer Water I heard was really good. So I decided to go in with this one. If you have used this, let me know if you really like it. The person at Ulta said that it was really good. It is skin balancing, even skin tone, and oil absorbing, which really caught my attention because I'm super hella oily. So I had to pick that up, but I wanted to try it out again today, see if I like it. And at first my skin was very tacky, but now it's just a little bit like tighter almost. I don't know how to explain it. But I'm gonna go into eyes and I'm actually using a new Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. So this technically it counts as a new product, right? It's the first time I'm going into it. And I'm using the Morphe Eyelid Primer and Translucent for the first time. My friend who is also obsessed with makeup said that this is a really good primer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these two products. Obviously this product is new to me. I never used it before and is definitely different than my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I don't know if I didn't let it dry enough or what, but it is a little bit patchy on my eyelids. So I really hope that doesn't affect the rest of my eyeshadows because <laughs> that would be a problem. I'm going into a new palette. It just restocked after months, I feel like, of being out of stock. And I feel like they sold out within a day. So I'm really glad I got my hands on it. It is the blood sugar palette. I'm so excited to finally have this in my hands. Ah, I love it. Look at these little clips. It looks like a suitcase or like a toolbox or something like that. I just think it is so cute. Here's the inside. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. The first shade I'm going to go into is this one right here. It's called tongue pop. Is this a tongue pop? That's a tongue pop, right? But I'm gonna be using this as my transition shade. I have never tried anything from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I don't know why, I just feel like this palette was the only thing that like spoke to me. But I really just wanted to try out this product at first, see if the pigmentation is like there. And you know, this palette is so hyped about, I wanted to try it out first before I went too crazy. This is such a beautiful, like, peachy pink shade. Oh, it's so gorgeous as a transition shade. Okay, I think the next shade I'm going to go into is this one. It's actually called Blood Sugar. As soon as I open this palette, that color really just, like, popped out at me. And I'm like, oh my god, I need to put that all over my lid. It looks so beautiful. Can you guys tell I'm so excited to get into this palette? It's just, like, I have been waiting months in months to get my hands on this palette. And just to build up the pigment a little bit more, I'm applying it with my finger. Your finger is seriously like the best tool ever. It just really enhances an eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm going to go back into Tongue Pop and just blend out those edges. And then going back into blood sugar and just reapplying the lid shade. Now I feel like I should go into fresh meat kind of looks really like a unique 
purplish red color. So I'm gonna put that on my outer V. That is such a pigmented color. Oh my gosh, I barely dipped my brush in that shadow. Wow. Going back into Tongue Pop again and just buffing out those edges as well. You gotta go back and forth between shades if you really want a good smoky eye. And I'm taking Blood Sugar again, applying this to my lid, and then Fresh Meat again. I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and clean up all that fallout. Now to start on that face. For primer, I got the Fenty Beauty in Soft Matte Primer. This is the mini version because I honestly just wanted to try it out before I purchased the big version. But in all fairness, how often do you go through a primer? Like this is so much product even for a mini. So that is what I'm gonna use today. I loved it because it said Soft Matte. So this claims to smooth, pore diffusing finish, and extended makeup wear. I do feel like it did fill in my pores and also it was very, very smoothing when I applied it. And then I just recently picked up this foundation. It is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I got it in the shade Light 4.5 Vienna. I so hope this matches me. I purchased this because Casey Holmes used to rave about it and she has very oily skin like me so I'm like well she can pull it off hopefully I can pull it off so I decided to pick it up it is in a glass bottle it looks stunning I'm so excited to be using it today I thought maybe mixing a soft matte primer with a radiant foundation would be a little bit better for my skin She said that this is full coverage, so I'm so excited to have another full coverage foundation in my life. You can never have too many. I'm like Casey Holmes. I either go completely bare face or I go full coverage. There is absolutely no in between. I don't do CC creams. I don't do BB creams. The only one I do for CC creams is the It Cosmetics CC cream, and that one could honestly pass as a foundation because it's so tick and it's so full coverage. This is a pretty good shade match. It's a hint, a hint too dark for me, but that's my fault because I need to go tanning. So I picked up the in between shade, like in between my tan shade and in between my very light shade. Seems to be blending out really nicely though. So far, so good. I think I'm really liking the finish of this foundation. I know I have very oily skin, but when I put enough matte products underneath it or on top of it, it just gives me a nice satin finish. And then I actually really do like it. So even if you have oily skin, all you have to do is use a matte primer and matte setting powder. You can use radiant foundations. Actually, they end up looking a little bit more of a satin finish on me when I do that. And right now, I'm just, I'm living for that finish. Next, I just purchased this as well. It is the Milk Makeup Translucent Light Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. I went to Sephora to actually pick up the Marc Jacobs setting powder. I don't remember what it's called, but this one just looked so much more towards my skin type. Like the description, I would just think that I would like it a whole lot more than the really, really expensive Marc Jacobs one. It says it blurs pores and cuts shine instantly for a soft focus effect. And then it's a sheer lightweight setting powder that locks in makeup all day without adding heavy cakiness. That's what I need in my life. So I'm so excited. And this also intrigued me because it has a net. I didn't even conceal. Okay, so I'm going to come back to that product after I conceal my face. Oh my gosh. This video is all over the place. I'm so sorry. So for concealer, I purchased the Flower Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Fair. I actually had to order this off Ulta.com because they don't sell it in my Walmart currently. 
so and I wanted to get my hands on it everybody keeps saying how amazing it is And you guys know I don't use that much concealer. If I use a bunch of concealer, it just gets really cakey underneath my eyes. So hopefully, even though this says it's full coverage, it won't crease on me. It is definitely highlighting underneath my eyes, so I really like that as well. Okay, before I even set my face, I'm gonna set my under eyes real quick. And the powder I'm gonna use is the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. I wanted a sheer finish underneath my eyes because I don't want it to look too cakey. Sometimes full coverage concealers and full coverage powders can just look way too heavy underneath my eyes. Okay, now to get into the Milk Makeup Powder. So I'm gonna just take my sponge and dip it right into the net. Okay, I am seriously living for this powder and foundation. Oh my gosh. My face has never looked this flawless in a very, very, very long time. I'm obsessed with this right now. <laughs> So I did just purchase a new contour kit. This is the Kelly Contour Kit by Smashbox. A lot of their products just don't excite me for some reason. I heard so many good things about this product. Kathleen Lights raved about it for a while and a few other YouTubers as well. So I wanted to see what it was all about. So I decided to pick it up. I'm gonna first go into this bronze shade right here to just kind of bronze the face, of course. I've been just so into contouring lately, so I'm actually going to go into this shade right here then to kind of just lightly contour my face. Oh yes, that just, that makes a world of difference. I almost forgot to contour my nose. Can you imagine? That would be so awful. All right, I like it. It's a very good contour palette so far, so good. I'm in it, I'm in it. My Walmart just got these blushes in. It is the Rimmel Maxi Blush, and this is in the shade Sweet Cheeks. It is just so pretty. It's like a pinky peach shade. It's not too pigmented. It does take some building up but I actually prefer to build up my blush. Now for highlight, I have two new highlighters. The first one is the ColourPop Luster Dust Loose Powder Highlighter in the shade Strobe Globe. This honestly just looked so stunning online, so I had to pick it up. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm obsessed. Yes, ColourPop, come through. So I just purchased this product because Stacia MUA here on YouTube was so in love with this product and mentions it all the time on her tutorials and it looks stunning. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. So I went to Sephora and picked it up. It is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Diamond Balm All Over Diamond Veil. This is in the shade, how many carats? Oh my god, I could not wait to get this. It is just, oh, it's so beautiful. I know what you're thinking, like, that's like pretty much pure glitter. But I heard when you put it on the skin, it still gives you a very highlighty glow. It's just not just glitter. It's not just like a glitter fart when you put it on your skin. So I'm gonna try it and we will see. But I'm just gonna put it on the very high points right here. 
and if it is like a pure glitter fart then maybe this is something that i can just wear when i go out clubbing or to the bars or something that will just give my cheeks a little extra mm, mm, mm. all right so now to finish up the eyes i'm gonna go back into the blood sugar palette and i'm first gonna put tongue pop this one right here all along my lower lash line this is such a creamy, buttery formula. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Now I'm gonna want every single palette from Jeffree Star. Then I'm gonna go into Fresh Meat, this one right here. And I'm putting that from my pupil outwards along my lower lash line. And since there is no inner corner highlight, I'm going to use the Fenty Balm for my inner corner highlights and also my brow bone. I know it'll be like a very extra looking brow bone highlight, but I'm in it, so let's do it. I feel like since we went for an all matte smoky eye today, this little pop of highlight will just be like, mm, mm, mm. I'm going to go into the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So now for a new mascara, I picked up the Lancome Monster Big Mascara because Kathleen Lights loves this mascara and I'm like, well, I need to try it. And the packaging is beautiful. I'm pretty sure this packaging is limited edition. So if I like this mascara, I'm gonna pick it up again because I'm, I'm just saying if I ever made a mascara, this is what the tube would look like. It is so beautiful. And then I'm gonna put on some falsies. These are the Eileen Kick Some Lash Lashes. I don't know what the name of them are, but they are very spiky and glamorous. Oh my gosh, what a difference lashes makes. And then I also put on my lip color. It is the Tarte Tartis Lip Paint in the shade Birthday Suit. I got this, I think, last year for my birthday from Sephora. It's just a little sample size, but it didn't dry down yet. I was kind of half expecting it to be like a liquid lipstick, like a matte formula, but it's still like a satiny finish. But anyways, this is my final look using all brand new products. I'm so impressed with everything. I don't think there was one thing that I was disappointed with. If anything, it would have been the Morphe Eyelid Primer in Translucent, but I just need to play with it more. I might not have let it dry all the way, so maybe that's why it was like kind of being patchy on my eyelid. Oh my god, this palette, guys, is gonna be my new favorite palette. Oh my god, it's so beautiful, and look at that mirror. I'm seriously obsessed with this formula. I love how my eyes turned out. It's just fun. It's flirty. I think the lashes really pulled it together. It's just a very beautiful, pinky, ready, smoky eye. I'm, I'm loving it. And as for my face products, I think I found my new three favorite holy grail products. This primer, this foundation, and this powder. Oh my god, my face has never looked this flawless before. It is just so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's kind of a more expensive makeup base, so I will go back into my drugstores and stuff, but now I know like this just gives me a very flawless finish, so if I have to go to parties or anything like that, or if I'm gonna go out, these three things I know work. Obviously, I don't know how they last on my skin, but for now, they're just so beautiful. I'm obsessed. I'm also obsessed with this contour kit. I can't wait to try out the other products in this. They have a blush, two highlights, and then an under eye highlight as well. It's just such a good bronzer and contour because that's what I used it for today. Very good. I think it's worth the money. You get so many products in one product. That's almost like a steal. So with this formula, I just, I love how my bronzer and contour came together. So that gets a thumbs up. And for highlights, oh my gosh, these two highlights, a match made in heaven. These two are so beautiful. The only thing I will say with this highlight is that it kind of got glitter 
all along my face right here even though I didn't apply it there somehow it just ended up there yeah I am loving all these products I had like no disappointing products but I hope you guys enjoyed this full face of new makeup products if you like any of these products please make sure to tell me down below so I know that like I'm not the only ones that are using these products I think that everything was so beautiful and turned out so stunning. I am loving this makeup look right now. But yeah, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe down below for me. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!